5 a.m. The alarm goes off. You wake up from a deep, warm sleep to the cold reality of promises you made yesterday. Today is here. Your first fight is against comfort, asking you for just five more minutes of sleep. But you've been feeding the demon of mediocrity for far too long. Your blankets keep trying to cover your head like waves of complacency. But this time, you're not about to drown in the ocean of average. This time, the glimpse of greatness you saw in yourself last night is now on its knees on the side of your bed praying to be more than just a glimpse. You lift your heavy head from the rented pillow of lost dreams. And just when your feet are about to touch the floor, somewhere at the back of your mind you hear fear asking you what if. What if the idea you have is a complete disaster? What if no one wants to hear what you've got to say? What if you fail? You sit almost paralyzed at the idea of waking up at 5 a.m. to pursue something that could ultimately humiliate you. Your warm blankets pull you back with an incorrect perspective of what happiness really is, saying things like, you know, other people are praying for the problems you have. Other people would love to have the job you're so frustrated with. And as you're about to recline into the dangerously seductive juvets singing this you should be happy lullaby, you hear your glimpse of greatness praying louder and louder. Other people's desire for your life is a reason to be grateful, not a reason to be comfortable. Stomach growling for passion, there's a reason why you're so hungry. What if you kill it? What if what you have to say is what so many people have been desperately needing to hear? You've been humiliated so many times, but look at your roots still growing deeper. The branches of your wisdom still searching wider. The fruits of your past failures still blossoming sweeter. Running shoes, check. Headphones, check. Thick skin ready to run through life's criticism and judgments, check. Ready to take on failure, you open the door of possibilities only to discover the scariest opponent you are yet to face, yourself. You turn around to run away and guess who's got your back behind you? Failure. How ironic, the very thing you thought was the enemy you needed to conquer turns out to be the biggest support you need to overcome the real enemy. Failure reminds you of the seven times you fell, but you got up. Failure reminds you of the many shots you missed but still carried on with the game. Failure reminds you of that presentation you fumbled but tried again. Failure reminds you of that one time you put together a show and no one came for it but you sang your heart out anyway. The enemy out there is waiting with things like self-pity, self-doubt and comparison to others. But failure reminds you of the one aspect that will always be the reason you succeed. You don't give up. You run outside to face yourself only to discover that that glimpse of greatness is now the brightest of lights. You look at your accomplishments, chuckling as you shake your head at the deplorable outcome that could have been if you opted for the easy way out as you think out loud. What if I decided to stay in bed? What if I didn't listen to the glimpse of greatness on the other side of the mirror with a camera pointed at my life telling me that it's going to be a movie. What if? <laughs>